Hey everyone, it's Laurie. So I wanted to come on and make this quick video to talk about um, what you all have been chatting about in the comments about the issue with the bobbin in your brother LX3817 sewing machine. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and address that really quick to share with you what I have found and hopefully it will help someone um, hopefully if it will also help someone who doesn't have a brother sewing machine, but you're having trouble with the bobbin So let's go ahead and get into it Okay guys here we are so from what I've researched there are a couple of things that can um, Cause issues with your bobbin being taken up from here and being caught by the upper thread um, one of them is that um, this string is too short when you're trying to pull the bobbin up, this bobbin string is too short after you get it inside this case. And the other issue is a timing issue. Um, and I'm gonna show you both ways here, okay? So I have my bobbin here, right? And um, first of all, when we're putting the bobbin in, in, we wanna pay attention, let me just do this. Okay, you just took it out of your case. We wanna pay attention to which way this bobbin is unwinding. So right now I'm holding it in my right hand and I'm gonna take note of where um, this thread is. It's hanging off on this side. We want our bobbin, our bobbin to unwind counterclockwise. So that means if you're holding it in your right hand, you want this string to be to your left. And as you unwind, you want it to roll counterclockwise. Okay, so now that I have it in this position, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it down in here into the bobbin case and guys there is a little groove here um i'll show you in just a moment you just slip the thread through this little groove there's no clicking it's not going to make a sound it's just going to slip right in okay and there it is that little groove right there okay so we want to put our thread down in there And there it is just that simple and from being on the brother support um, website there were lots of comments on there quite a few people are very unhappy with how their machine does not um, take up their bobbin thread but one person did note that the instructions over here tell you to take your thread to slip it through here and to bring it over and cut it off of this little razor just like that. So let's see what happens when I've actually done that. So my bobbin is unwinding counterclockwise. I slipped it into the little groove like the instructions tell me to, and then I cut the thread here. So let's see what happens. Um, I have my hand wheel right now and I'm gonna turn it toward me. I'm not gonna turn it away from me. I'm gonna turn it toward me to cause my needle to go down and I'm gonna keep a little tension there. And what do I have? So, when the thread is too short, um, it may bring up the bobbin thread like this. Guys, actually this is the longest that I've seen it bring the bobbin thread up and that's probably because the ends are kind of frayed and it caught on itself. Um, but when I've done this before, like this thread barely came up to where I had to get tweezers and pull it out. So um, if this is what you're experiencing, it could be that the um, thread has been cut, you've cut it here, and it's just too short to connect to the upper thread. So let me show you what happens then um, if I don't do that. So let me pull this back. Pull it back, pull it back, and there. That's a decent length. Um, let me show you what happens if I don't cut the thread. I'm gonna put it here, put it through the little groove. It just slips right through. And I'm gonna keep it long to where it hangs over the side of the machine. And now I'm gonna hold this with a little bit of tension. Roll the hand wheel toward me um, with the presser foot up as well. And there you go. So when the thread is longer, 
um, to the point to where it hangs off the side of, of the machine, it will actually connect with the upper thread. If it's too short, it may pull it up through the plate, but it's not going to cause it to connect. Um, now, before, when it came up through the plate, I just pulled it with my hand. Like I said before, it was even shorter than, than that, and I had to use tweezers in order to get it. But as long as it comes up through the plate, it's okay. But if this has been your situation, to save you that extra step or a little bit of frustration of having to fish out the thread or even use tweezers, um, don't use this little razor, okay? So that is the first uh, solution that I have read um, and that I have seen online, um, particularly on the Brother Support website. So now let's talk about what happens when there's a timing issue. All right, guys, so um, I have my other machine set up here, and um, this is my Janome, and I'm gonna show you what happens when there is a, a timing issue, um, if you have a timing issue. So I already have this off, and I've already unscrewed this plate. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. And I am gonna take off as well, or take out my bobbin case. Guys, I do not suggest um, disassembling your machine at home. <laughs> but since I have already done this, uh, I'm not too concerned right now about taking it all apart. If you've seen in my first video, I pretty much stripped this sewing machine and then put it back together. Okay, so what we have here is, as you see, as I'm turning the hand wheel, this shuttle is going around and this little hook right here this hook is what is going to grab this thread from the eye of the needle and what needs to happen is that this hook and the eye of this needle need to cross paths at exactly the right time okay so we're talking about the timing of the machine um, so I'm gonna show you how that works. Let me just take this out quickly. There. And let's draw this back some. Okay, drew it back too much. Now let me thread this. Okay, so here is the hook of the shuttle here. You can see that little hook. So as it's going around, there it is. It is going to cross paths just at the right time and it's going to scoop up that thread. You can see it right there. It's scooped up the thread. And it's gonna keep going around and eventually it's gonna release. And that's where the bobbin thread and the upper thread make a connection. And the upper thread is able to pull the bobbin thread through. Now, when someone says, the technician says, you have a timing issue, um, this hook and that needle are not crossing paths at the right time, and this hook is not picking up this thread. Okay. Um, the other thing that can happen when you have a timing issue is you will um, start to sew and of course it won't pick up the thread and it'll also break your needle because the needle is coming down um, at a place that it shouldn't and it's being broken. So one more time, there goes that hook. It's going to, within that little space there, it's going to catch on to the thread, loop it around and then release it. So let's see how that works together with your bobbin. with your bobbin thread. Okay, 
So this is some really silky thread here that I have. Um, side note, guys, when I had this in my other sewing machine and I cut it short um, with the little razor on the side, it's it would not pick up at all because the, the thread was silky. There was no friction um, between the cotton thread and the silky thread, and it would not pick up at all. So I'm going to put my bobbin case back in here. And I'm going to make sure that my needle is at the highest point. Okay. And again, I'm making sure that um, if I'm holding my bobbin case in my right hand, that the thread is coming off on the left side. Put it down in there. For this machine, there is the little groove. It actually makes a little bit of a sound. Okay, so my thread is hanging long over, um, there we go, you guys can see now. My thread is hanging long over the machine and I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna let the hook here and the, the shuttle do its magic with picking up this thread and connecting this one as well. Here we go, my needle is going down. The hook is passing um, behind the thread, making that loop. And now as you can see, it's scooping up that thread that's hanging from the bobbin that's long and causing it to link. Okay, so that is why the thread needs to be long. It needs to be long enough for that link to happen, for that folding to happen, um, for all of those things to happen. And then, of course, if your plate was here, you could just scoop it out. Okay, so I hope that answers some questions. All right, guys, so that is the information that I have so far. If uh, you have any other information to add to what I've shown you today, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, I have to say you guys are great about asking questions and things, and um, I'm going to do my best to try to answer them or to shed some light on them. Guys, make sure you come back uh, next month. If you haven't noticed, I've been able to get videos out once a month. I've kept myself to a once a month kind of a schedule and it's been the first Saturday of the month but this month February surprise surprise you get two videos um, but come back the first uh, Saturday of March for my next video um, guys have a good one I hope to sew with you again soon bye